hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how can you create a, how can you create or implement simple css style sheet in your html so with this video you can uh, you will familiar with this uh, uh, css then in this video i'm going to tell you how can you implement or integrate or apply css on your html so you can see here uh, this is a simple html code with css you can see i am just uh, creating a html tag in the head tag i am using style tag for applying css on this uh, h1 heading hello friends then i am change the color into green css is helpful if you want to make your website more attractive style sheet css cascading style sheet uh, consists of many styles altogether there are three types of style sheet external style sheet a text file shared with dot css extension they are linked to an html document using link tag internal style sheet are style sheet you can see here this is called external style sheet internal style sheet are styles are defined in the script tag they are created in the html document and in inline uh, so this is our the internal style sheet you can see here and if i talk about uh, inline style sheet are styles declared in the tag they apply to for example if i am going to create another paragraph and create a style here and provide color if i am choose blue or any other color which you want according to your need then this is in line css type so So you can see here there are three types of CSS uh, style sheet is uh, cascading style sheet. First is external style sheet. Second is internal style sheet, and the last one is inline style sheet. The external style uh, first I am going to talk about the internal style sheet. You can see here I am just using this H1. If any other H1 is mentioned here. then all the settings which is apply with the help of this internal style sheet i am just apply on the head one h1 section so in all h1 this particular policy or this particular style will apply in all h1 because i am using this h1 to create a style this is called internal style sheet if i am going to run this code then you can see here this is internal style sheet like here you can see this is you can see color red uh, uh, the text color is green font size is 50 pixel text alignment is center it's shown center of the uh, whole window screen background color is red so this is called a style sheet which is apply internally then you can create a, a style sheet using external so if i am going to create external style sheet then i have to open a notepad again then new in this um if i going to 
H2 and close the H2 H tile now I am going to change something that will make you easily understand that will help you to understand easily so I have to save this with dot CSS extension this is called FIF first dot CSS now you can see here then I have to open again and open the notepad then this is there are some other step you can do to use if I am going to there is no H2 tag so this is called external I am going to check this if this is apply or not then you can see here this is apply so you can see here this is the always rem remember if you want to apply external style shield then you have to make another css file with dot css extension you just i just make h2 tag here and apply all the external style shield on h2 provide color provide different options so this is how you can apply external style sheet with the help of dot css extension and you can use this first dot css file or call dot css or if you want to call this file then you have to use this syntax you can use the path of this file and you can choose link rel style sheet you are using the style sheet so this is how you can use external style sheet this is how you can use internal style sheet and if you want to use in uh, inline style sheet then you can see here this style sheet apply on particular line if i want to apply or change something on a particular paragraph particular heading particular body section particular div tag division tag particular marquee language particular marquee tag then i have to do on inline so this is how you can apply inline css on html so this is you can see here style tag is used and then i am provide the just color or if you want to provide something else then you have to click here and uh, background you can provide bskg and background color color green now I'm going to check this, check this if so again I have to check this or I can sometimes it's work or I have to give a pixel to arrange background color I'm just show you by align for center I have to do some changes here
now you can see and uh, there are some syntactical mistakes so now you can see how can you create a simple inline css so you just have to apply on the particular line or apply on the particular tag if you want to apply if you want to integrate if you want to implement inline shell sheet or inline css if you want to implement internal css then you have to use this type of technique if you want to use external css then you have to use this technique and you have to provide the path where your css file is located and the css will help you to make more attractive more uh, at make your site more attractive and you can make a great ui user interface and if your site your user interface is great then a user always went uh, want to visit on those sites uh, those sites which have great interfaces which provide great uh, usability or uh, if they have great user interface and attractive interface uh, user interface then they love to see uh, they love to visit again and again so this is how you can create a css cascading style sheet then you have to remember only one thing css only use for provide design uh, provide some additional design css only use to provide additional design material and make your website more and more make your web page more and more attractive so that's all from now friend thank you